I'm Scott Krause from Earth Crisis, and this is for PETA 2. It wasn't something that I actually ever thought about before that they would test uh, cigarettes on animals. I mean, I can't say I was surprised. Uh, I mean, I've, you know, just the history and, and learning about animal testing at a young age, the shock, I guess, of how ridiculous it is has kind of been dulled over the years. So I wasn't surprised, but it just was something I was kind of curious as to what animals maybe were used, um, what were the tests that were being done. So I just decided to kind of do a little research on my own and, and see what was going on. When I think the first time I, it, I was pretty young, I mean, I was about 15 or so, or maybe 14, when I first kind of realized that companies tested. Um, and I think when you're young, you kind of think, oh, well, you know, they're testing shampoo and, you know, you think they're washing them or something, you know, because you're just so naive at that age. You don't think people would, would do something like, like harmful or, or uh, just so violent, you know. Um, and then when I first saw a video, I was disgusted. The, the images stick with you for sure. And I think that's, you know, those images are what have carried me on as a vegan and as somebody that doesn't support animal testing throughout my, my life. You know, it was just basically just the, the, the constant smoke inhalation to, to rabbits. And I think it was mainly rabbits that I saw. Um, and that the fact that they were finding out that, you know, things that I guess we've known forever, that, um, that it causes emphysema and lung cancer and all these other things, which I guess at this point, I'm not really sure why do they need to keep finding that out over and over again? It seems strange. People tend to get this all or none attitude and then, you know, there's always somebody who's kind of against it that's pointing out, you know, oh, hey, you, well, you use this, you know, and you use that. And it's, it's not an all or none thing. For me, it's constantly evolving. Um, but, you know, you just start with, with the basics and the things that you, you, you can avoid, you know, obviously like your toothpaste and, and all your, your, you know, your bath care stuff and all that, you know. And then over, over time you'll kind of realize, oh, well, what about this product? It's just a constant process, like, like you know, anything when you start kind of going away from uh, social norms, you know, you're always kind of learning, oh, you know, I've been using this for the last three years and didn't realize it's, it's been tested on animals, but just do the best you can. For more information, visit PETA2.com.